Hey everybody, Valheim released an early access back on February 2nd, 2021. After one year, 10 months, and four days, Iron Gate finally added the first new biome, the Mislids. But is it worth returning to Valheim for? Well, before we answer that question, you might need a Valheim gaming server, and if so, you should consider renting one from my sponsor, G Portal. I've been using them myself for a long time. You can even save 10% with my link. Just go to jirokthevikingcom slash gportal. Now, when Valheim first launched, Iron Gate dropped us into a world that promised great wonders and adventure. I have arrived. It promised exciting things such as picking up sticks and stones in the meadows. Oh, yeah. We ate sour berries and moldy fungus, and we were glad to do it. <laughs> When I tried to greet the locals, hoping to make some friends in the vast world of Valheim, they weren't very receptive. Even the wildlife had a bone to pick with me. Hey there, little piggy. How you doing, little lizard? And if you're hoping to bag yourself a deer for dinner, forget about it. They're impossible to catch after you inevitably run out of stamina. But you will eventually find yourself face to face with a big, scary looking deer who will gladly give you the business. The natives of the Black Forest weren't any better. They'll throw rocks at you for no reason whatsoever. And just when you learn that a torch can keep them at a distance, there are these big ones who would decide not to follow the rules. That was uncalled for. Can't I make any friends in this game? And when I was finally ready to set sail for the first time and head out to the ocean like a real Viking, my trip was unexpectedly cut short by this big blue monstrosity. When it came time to look for my first swamp, I had to run through this peaceful looking area called the Plains. After trying to retrieve my corpse for more than two hours, the whole area looked like an ancestral graveyard that went back for generations. When I finally got to the swamp, it was dark, wet, and miserable. There are no friends to be found in the swamp, I can tell you that much. And forget about the mountains. The snowstorms are brutal, and the wolves will surely get you. You can count on that. Even the rocks up there are angry. And yeah, there are dragons too. You should probably just run away when you see one if you know what's good for you. There are angry goblins. Angry magic goblins. Angry furry things and angry flying things. And yeah, death itself will come crawling out of the ground to terrorize you. And now we have the Mislins to look forward to, a foreboding place where visibility is limited. What was that? There is a way to see through the mist just a little bit. But it's not far enough to spot these giant insects before they pounce on you like a cat on a mouse. There's an even bigger bug that will stomp you into the ground if you get too close. Along the way, you'll find the long dead remains of giants known as the Jotun. And while you're marveling at these wonders, y'all better watch the skies for that thing. If you can get yourself high enough away from all the bugs, the view is spectacular, but be careful, it's a long ways down. It's not all bad though. There are some new weapons, like these dual wield daggers, a new spear, one-handed sword, two-handed sword, new one-handed axe, new bow, new crossbow, and electrified at gear. And my own personal favorite, a brand new business giving hammer. There's a new buckler and a new shield. There's also two new armors, the carapace armor, or what I like to call the bug armor. And there's the new eider armor, otherwise known as the mage outfit. That's right. There's now magic in Valheim. Fireball, fireball, pew, 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 pew. And I can finally summon some friends. Although, they're kind of thin on personality, if you know what I mean. 
can also create a defensive shield around you and your new slaves. I, I mean, your new friends. Now, if only I could find some real friends in the Mistlands, then it would be worth returning to Valheim for. Whoa, look at these fellas. They're not attacking me. Hello there. You want to be my friends? And check this out. They'll even help you kill these damn bugs out here. That's it. Give that bug the business. Yeehaw. Woohoo! I finally found some real friends in Valheim, and all thanks to the Mislins. Just be careful not to accidentally hit them or their structures, or they might turn on you. Hey, you'd do the same if they attacked you first. So, does the Mislins make Valheim worth returning for? Absolutely! Despite my kidding around, the first five biomes are an absolute joy to play. And as for the Mislins, there's tons of new content and many things I didn't even show you here today. And speaking of friends, if the Dwarger aren't enough for you, you can make some real life friends playing on my Valheim servers. I've just launched two new Mislin servers, a permanent vanilla server and a seasonal no map server. Come check us out at discord.gg slash the Viking. We can answer all of your questions. And when you're ready to play with us, you can join by going to my website, jirokthaviking.com. And one more thing, if you need a powerful gaming desktop or laptop so you can run Valheim at maximum settings, you should check out my sponsor, Zydax Computers. I own one and I absolutely love it. There's nowhere else you can buy a desktop computer and receive an unrivaled lifetime parts and labor warranty. That's how much they stand behind the quality of their rigs. Get yours now by going to jirokthaviking.com slash Zydax. You can also find that link in the description. All right, that's it for now. Have fun out there.